I can't even begin to describe to you how bizarre this is. It's, again, it's so bizarre. I wake up every morning like, is this, is this a bad dream? Mm -hmm. Does this really happen? Over the years, he's had some killer hits, selling more than 30 million records worldwide. Performed to crazy fans the world over, claiming Grammys as well as other awards with a kiss from a rose. Yeah, Harvey Weinstein is a disgusting individual, a sick person, of course, yes. But tell the whole truth. Don't tell half the truth. You knew it was going on. You all knew, and you chose to say nothing. There's no shame in that. We get it, because that's the way the industry was. But own it. Just own it, and actually do some real good to help people. It's, again, one of these things which, in society, we get so comfortable with things that we tend to just be like, oh, it's just a, it's just a thing, it's just a thing. It's not OK and it, it should never be acceptable. They carry people away to find out what they know. So they may still be alive. Nine. Oh. The head of Star Labs was taken as well. You made it. I feel like we're in the beginning of a change, hopefully, in this mentality of, of people in a power position using their power in order to manipulate people to give them something against their will, and it's not okay. Here's what I think is very real and still happens. The parents just need to be involved. They have to, if you're a parent and you have your kid, no matter what they're doing, stay involved in their life, but especially in this industry. Right? You don't want to send your kid to L.A. with a manager without doing your homework. Right. We're fighters for truth, justice, and the American way. Corey, Corey's been uh, one of my buddies for a long time. You know, we're old school, like they like to say, you know, and I've, I've, I told him, you know, I've always had your back, and I know he felt that as a kid. I was it's one the of the guys. best movie I put him in, by the way. I was... <laughs> Dr. Oz, <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, you know... I, I was a couple years older, you know, like, you know, they're 12, 13, I'm around 15, you know, so I, I, I was aware, you know, I was cautious. And I think it's important for me to, to come out and, and just back Corey. So many people are, are trying to make it seem like that's not a real thing or it's not as prominent as it really is. And it's not just Hollywood. I guess that's why I'm here is just to bring awareness that it's in every walk of life. Yeah, you see it a lot in Hollywood because Hollywood, Hollywood hires the young, beautiful, charismatic people, and so that's definitely gonna be a, a bigger magnet for pedophilia. Mike, I'm telling you, man, I know how close I came to losing it all. Just when you get emasculated like that, and I, I, when I tell you the way he looked at me, the way he giggled, it was it was one of those things where he was like, "Hey, man, you know, no one's ever gonna believe you." How prevalent is what you're talking about in Hollywood today? I believe there's a lot of darkness in Hollywood right now, and I believe it's been there for quite some time. And as we've seen with the Harvey Weinstein scandal, it continues to unfold. That signature show propelled his rise to icon. Charlie, Mr. President, good to see you. Good to see you. Interviewing everyone from presidents to celebrities to scientists. That's a great question. It's going to continue unraveling. This is just the beginning. It's just the tip of the iceberg. So everything you're seeing is building up. Is this just the tip of the iceberg we're seeing? Rose even once weighing in on fellow newsman Bill O'Reilly, a moment now laden with irony. All of the cases in the raise the issue of sexual harassment, which is a terrible thing, has probably been, been uh, not exposed enough. It's like cutting a tree down by the leaves. Because once that leaf is gone, the root is still there. We have got to battle at the root. Hollywood doesn't even get the morals to its own movies. That's what's so crazy.
very empowering time in Hollywood right now. Men and women are like speaking out against people who misuse their power. Do you feel like we're going to see a shift in an industry that is, you know, this has kind of just been the norm for a long time? Yeah, I would say that I'm pretty shocked and I would say a little sickened by it. Um, but I feel that there seems to be a huge paradigm shift, which is necessary, uh, not only in this business, but all over the world in different industries. And it's essential and important. And he looked me in my eyes and he was sticking his tongue out overtly sexually to me. I mean, it was no mistake that this was a, a, a sexual type tongue move. And I'm going, and I'm thinking it's a joke. I'm thinking, is this how this guy breaks the ice? I don't understand what this is. Confused, Cruz said he reached out to shake his hand. I reach my hand out and he he takes his right hand and under mine and immediately squeezes, grabs my genitals and just and I'm jump back like, hey, hey, mm -hmm. whoa. And he go and he still and he jumps back and he still does this tongue stuff and he's making weird noises and then he comes back again and grabs me again. And I, I slap his hand away, push him back more forcefully, and I'm like, what are you doing? He just won't stop. And I, 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 then I really got forceful, pushed him back. He bumps into all the other party goers, the whole thing, and he starts giggling and laughing. And let me tell you, Mike, I have never felt more emasculated, more objectified. I was horrified. My wife is with me. My wife is right there. Now, let me say, he was acting so weird and so strange that I put myself between him and my wife because I, I with this tongue thing I was I, I couldn't understand I want to ask you about there was a, a report in the press and I know you, it, we should clear it up because it said that you said you didn't want to work with Brett Ratner who's based some accusations of sexual harassment um, on the next Wonder Woman and yeah. that you weren't going to do it if he was part of it yeah is that true so it's a, it's at the end of the day, a lot has been written yeah. about my views and the way that I feel and everyone knows the way I feel because I'm not hiding anything. Uh, but the truth is... What did you exactly. see, what did exactly. you see in the Alfie's Club that made you uncomfortable then, even as a 15 year old? Well, what Corey was saying was very true. There was a group of, what were they, Hollywood types? Like, was this guy a producer? Photographer, I don't think so. manager, right. this, that. That happened at those parties. And those parties were relatively kid-friendly. Uh, but interestingly, that's where I met, you know, the guy that ended up molesting Haim. That's where, I mean, there was a bunch of these guys. They were all hanging out together at these parties. But really, there weren't a lot of parents there because he would pick them up and he became friends with all these kids. First of all, this whole thing, from Weinstein to all what's happening in Hollywood is about an abuse of power, an abuse of the position you have. And what happens is they have fooled everyone into thinking it was part of the job. There's a, such a great power imbalance that these few people that wield all this power, I think it's great that it's all coming out in the open. A woman should never have to feel that in order to get from A to B, she has to compromise her integrity. Cruz said he abruptly left the party. You're in the car, what's that conversation like in the car? I couldn't talk, because you just keep replaying it. Keep replaying it, like, did this happen? What mm -hmm. in the world? And then you wanna go back. You wanna stop the car and turn around. You wanna get this guy. Five described Rose, who Time Magazine named one of its 100 most influential people in 2014, putting his hand on their legs to test the reaction. This is the deal about Hollywood, and, and it's, a, it's an abuse of power. You know, this is abuse. This guy, again, he's one of the most powerful men in Hollywood, and he looked at me at the end as if, you know, who's going to believe you? So you didn't think anybody would believe you if you came forward? Last year? No. No, actually, I let it go. Actually, I put it in the back of my head, and I understood why women everywhere had to let it go. But let me tell you, when the Weinstein thing started happening, I got PTSD. I was going, oh my God, this exact thing happened to me. I understand why they won't come forward. And I'm gonna tell you, a lot of times people go, well, why didn't you come forward sooner? But this is the thing, when a, when a person of power breaks that boundary and violates that boundary, you're a prisoner of war. 
Why is it if I don't release the names in the next two months, six months, or a year, I'm the bad guy. I'm the victim here. I'm the one who's been abused. I'm the one who's trying to come forward and do something about it. But there are, hold back. on, please, I'm sorry. There are thousands of people out there, Matt, who have this information. Any one of those child actors that went to the teenage soda pop clubs with me when I was a kid know who those people are and the people who ran the majority of alleged and confirmed victims are mostly women who say this has been the culture of Hollywood for years. Powerful men committing sexual abuse and getting away with it. But now that the lid has been blown open, many feel this is the tipping point. You see these women scared to death. Listen to some of the Annabella Sciorra and some of these people. I mean, ter like I've been there. If you're walking down an alley and somebody like, you know, comes up to you and they're dressed in a way that looks like they might mug you, you get scared. Well, if yeah. somebody puts you in a certain position, it's the same fear. It just ain't right. Yeah. It's just wrong, ain't it? I think this is a good start, uh, speaking up and making sure that people will think twice and three times and ten times before they even think about doing things like that. I think that the whole mentality of, you know, using your power in order to to get something from someone else against his own will is wrong and sick and should be condemned. What you had going on, albeit wrong, it is absolutely wrong and it is disgraceful, but what was going on was a transaction. And so I'd have a lot more respect for those people if those people came out and they said, you know what, here's what happened, right? I was an aspiring actor or actress. I was trying to get from A to B. I knew the nature of this business. This person, this disgusting person, had all the power. And I knew that I stood no chance of getting that part or moving to the next level unless I compromised by sleeping with that person. And I am coming forward and saying this now because for all of those young aspiring actors and actresses, I want to make clean this up now so that they don't have to go through that. I'd be a lot more impressed by that because then you're doing some real good. You might have $400 million in cash, but I'd rather have $400 million in influence. Mm. Honor is where you have to do it. You have to have honor. Humiliation, I know I've been through it, but that's all over now. We've been down this road before with you and you have promised Never. in the past to name names. Never. In your book you said, you, when you were talking about your book, you said you were gonna blow the lid and off this. is of why this. I'm doing this, because when I wrote my book, the publishers prevented me from writing the names well, that's what I meant by they we were down this road before. Yeah. We didn't get the names exactly. we were promised exactly. last time. Which is why I'm taking the matter into my own hands, and this is why I need America's support, I need the world's support, because I must make a film with no executives, no VPs, yeah, why do you no need lawyers. $10 million. Film students make movies for fractions well, that's a right. film student. We're talking about a theatrical release. We're talking about, I'm going to four-wall the theaters, I'm going to self-distribute, self-market, make the film. They say since the Harvey Weinstein scandal, Are you calling regarding employment discrimination? Or their phones are ringing off the hook with new potential cases every day. But I also think that we got to be really careful with this. Because this, j just like there's bad guys doing bad stuff who deserve judgment, there's going to be some people that are making well, stuff up and causing trouble and getting even with people. Your dreams, goals, aspirations is, is just as valuable as your children. And, and when someone binds up your dream and holds a gun to his head and says it's gonna kill it, if you don't do this, if you don't stay quiet, if you don't do that, it's, hot, it's a hostage situation. You are dealing with a terrorist. And I have my dream. I've worked so hard for this. I, what can I say? It's one of those things, I survived the NFL, I got the entertainment, I'm here, and I get assaulted by my own agent? It makes, it makes no sense, and it was filed to the core, and it still, still shocks me. I'm Quickly. not playing around. It's serious stuff, and I vow I will release every single name that I have any knowledge of, period. And nobody's going to stop me this time, as long as people support this. But tell the whole truth. Don't tell half the truth. Feel. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much as oh, well. you don't shake hands. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't shake hands. A hug. Yeah. Got the temper now. Don't get any uh, sexual harassment claims. <laughs>